So I kind of did a thing. First of all, uh, hello everybody. It's me, Chris. It's been a while. Me and Alyssa have been working a lot lately. It's been kind of a, a hellish April slash now I guess it's May. You guys know the turd, right? You know it well. Well, like I said, I did a thing. I wasn't even looking for it, but I was just cruising through Facebook. Yeah, lots of oil on the ground. I'll show you in a minute why. Just cruising through Facebook, what, yesterday, maybe two days ago? I think it's like May 2nd right now. And we ended up seeing something that was too good to be true, but it ended up actually being true. For 600 bucks, I just got that. It's the exact same truck as the turd. It's a 1979 short bed SR5 Toyota pickup with a really sweet factory camper shell on the back. Came with a tailgate and everything. Tailgate is three days old and it's otherwise been inside of a shop its entire life. As you can see, this camper shell required it to be removed. So um, I'm the third owner. Yeah, that's right. I'm the third owner of this truck. And it's fucking clean. I'll show you the tailgate in a second. We're going to start with the inside just because I'm standing right here. Um, look at this, guys. Like, seriously. Fucking kidding me? There's only one of these, okay, which is the bummer. That's the bummer. I've only found one of these. Um, all these compartments right here open up. There's two short ones. Hang on. Yeah, there's two short ones on the back end here, one there and one over there. And then there's these long ones as well. They pop open as well. And it's just, you know, storage, like you'd imagine there to be storage. Um, the lighting's not great right now, uh, but believe me when I say, you'll see you'll see later on um, that these two sections right here just remove. They're just friction fit. They just pop right up. And you can see that, oh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do that one. You can see that this bed, just like the rest of the truck, is so clean. Oh my God, are you guys seeing this? This thing was converted basically from the factory, I guess three days after it was purchased. The lady went back and she's like, you know what? Screw a pickup truck, I want it to be a camper. And she's had it, and she had it for a number of years. And then the, the, lady, that, the lady that owned it for the most time um, drove it for 30 years. And she ended up selling it to these dudes who had been trying to get it off of her for years. They were doing some work for her. They're like landscapers like me. And uh, they ended up talking her out of it for around 600 bucks or several days worth of work, which in my opinion is probably worth more than 600 bucks uh, with the kind of work they do. But they ended up having issues with the motor right away. And within 48 hours, um, they, po they posted it. And I, I happened to be the first one to see it on Facebook and uh, I snagged it. But you can see that there's lighting. I'm sure that lighting probably works. Um, Alyssa touched the other the other side, the front one. She just like went like this, and it shattered into a million pieces. It's like super brittle, like more brittle than you could even possibly imagine. Like just looking at it, I feel like it's going to disintegrate even more. Um, but yeah, there's like nice wood paneling in here. You know, it smells it smells a little old, but like nothing that I I couldn't you know air out for a couple days and sleep in. It doesn't smell like black mold or nothing at all. Like it's in such good condition. Which is why um, we're in Alyssa's parking space right now. I wouldn't ask for it lightly, but it is leaking a little bit. It needs to be resealed. Like every, all, you know, all the edges and stuff of the camper need to be resealed. There is water getting into the cab, just like any old Toyota. Uh, we're actually planning on building in this whole area right here. We're going to be taking out those three trees, and we are going to build like a extended, larger version of this carport right here for basically the vintage vehicles. Um, of which I have a plenty, as you know. Anyway, back to the truck. Um, it's so clean, guys. Like, I, I can't even describe it to you. I know it's brown, so it's really hard to tell. But there's fucking no rust at all. Except in one small little spot. No big deal. I'll show you. I'll even give you a hint. It's the driver door. Tiny bit. Um, I mean, it's got a billet grill. I don't even know. That's not billet. Come on now. That's just tube. It's an aluminum tube grill. Maybe it's not even aluminum, honestly. Now I'm looking at it, there's a little bit of rust back there. It might just be like chromed. I think it's just chrome. Which is not my style, but I'm probably gonna leave it just because it's like unique and 
eh, I don't know. I honestly, I might change that at some point. I guess it was last registered um, in 06. It actually had a rebuilt motor. It came with a bunch of paperwork. It had a rebuilt motor in about 07 or so. Um, but the problem with it is, and the reason why these guys got rid of it, is because it, it's got the 20R in there. Uh, I guess it was replaced at some point and rebuilt. And like I guess it came from a Celica. I don't, don't have any paperwork on that, but the guys you know, told me that story, so I'm just taking them for their word. But it is a 20R. It could be the stock one for all I know. But basically, they fired it up. They were all excited. They finally got it from this lady. They fired it up, and it shoots oil. They were like, yeah, it shoots like high-pressure oil out the head gasket on the passenger side. And I'm thinking, like, there's no way. There's no way that that could, that could be a thing. But as sure as shit is, in under 10 seconds, in under 10 seconds of it firing up, and I'm telling you, I put a battery in there, and it fired right up. Um, in under 10 seconds, over a quart of oil was on the ground. Right here, actually over a quart of oil, guys. I mean, I'm guesstimating, but it was the most amount of oil I've ever seen. Oh, fuck, it's raining. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I'm just gonna do some B-roll now, okay? I'm gonna show you guys the interior right now. It's not immaculate, but it's really fucking cool. I'm dehumidifying it right now. It does have moisture damage down here in the carpet. So I'm gonna dry that out and try to save this carpet. I think uh, it's in good enough shape that I'm gonna take it out and try to clean it up trying to fix any leaks and stuff but anyway you guys probably can't even hear this this is just a test i guess at this point because the sound quality is probably shit right now but look at this center console it's so cute look at this i've never seen anything like it it's supposed to be this nice orange color but of course it you know turned to shit you can see that this has been in the down position for a number of years it's got the rare sr5 sport steering wheel with the center cap that's right be jealous it comes with the original key. It does have keys for the doors, the ignition, and also the rear camper. It does lock. It has a separating plate. So you can't get outdoors right there, although it does leak a little bit. I gotta fix it. Um, it also has a sliding closable window on both the camper shell itself and also, of course, the cab. It does have the working latch as well. I don't know what the fuck that is on my finger. No idea. Shit or something. Anyway, this latch totally will work. I haven't even closed this yet because I'm just dehumidifying the whole thing. I'm just trying to dry it out. It came with the original shifter, but it had some sort of soda pop spill on it or some shit. It was it was that sticky. I mean it was like it was like like sticky. So I've pre-cleaned that. It's drying in the house right now. Um, I'm really excited about this next number right here, guys. I don't know if that's a stock stereo, but I'm pretty fucking sure that's a stock stereo. And if you know anything about these trucks, finding finding one of these uh, wood trim panel pieces that haven't been all cut up for like a new age stereo, it's pretty freaking rare. About the only thing rarer than that would be finding that with like with the uh, like the stock CB radio, which I've never found before. Would have been really cool for this one, but I'm really excited about this about this dash plate right here comes with all the knobs they haven't been removed or if they were they weren't lost it's it's got the sr5 cluster and all the all the bells and whistles there so um, it does have the tachometer there I haven't I didn't have it running enough to see if it works but I don't care I'm just glad it's there it does have the dash of course it's got the typical cracks and shit on it but it's I've seen much 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 worse so I might rock this for a little bit I'll probably end up replacing this um, I actually have one from an RV from the same generation. It's a dark brown one, and it's pretty much immaculate. It might have, like, I think it has, like, a little less damage than, like, this right here. Like, a couple little cracks through here, but it's immaculate. It's perfect. So I need to, like, treat it with some M40 or something like that. Some sort of conditioner, some sort of vinyl conditioning agent. But I'll probably end up swapping that out. But, uh, yeah, for 600 bucks, I'm not complaining at all. I am so happy. Like, you... A lot of you guys are going to be jealous. I understand that. I would be too. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. I just want you guys to know that this is, this isn't, it's gone to the right guy, okay? I'm going to take really good care of this thing. I'm not going to, I'm not going to do anything crazy to it at all. I may level out the front of it just because it's a little bit higher in the front because of the canopy probably. I'm probably going to adjust the torsions just like half an inch down, just barely, just to level it out. I mean, it's got the freaking SR5 trim on it it's got this i guess that is the trim it's got like this trim
trim stuff on it. It probably came from the factory. I'm sure it did. I've never even seen that before. You know, it's got the, what I just called trim, but it's got the, the vinyl decal on it. The guy did pressure wash it, unfortunately, and I'm dead certain that's why those little chunks right there are missing. So that's that's a huge bummer. I wish I would have been, oh yeah, I can feel it, it's sticky. So it just came off, so he just pressure washed that off. So I'm a little pissed about that, but you know, it's fine. This thing is so fucking straight. It's incredible. It's incredible. I just can't even believe it. It needs new tires. The tires are completely dry rotted, like on the on the tread. You can even see it right there. Like it's gone. But I love those rims. I love the offset of the rims. It's perfect. Everything's perfect. I may paint them black, but I may actually have them re-chromed. Like eventually, I want this thing to just be immaculate. It's so cool. I love this thing. We've named it Shihiro after one of our favorite characters, the main character from Spirited Away. We really love the Miyazaki series. Um, you know, most of the movies, nine out of 10 of the movies are gold. And uh, we wanted this thing to be kind of like, I guess the turd's girlfriend, if you will. It just feels like a girl to us. Most of our cars have been named after boys, which is kind of weird. I know most people name their shit after girls, but uh, we're weird, so there you go. We've got two female vehicles now, so far. Um, every other vehicle except for Shihiro and the Suburban way out there, the half ton Suburban, which is going to get some work done here pretty soon. I've just ordered a bunch of front end parts because it's, it's, it was sketchy to say the least. It's been sketchy for a while, but anyway, that's the mystery machine. This is Shihiro. Welcome to the family, baby. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments. Sorry, this is such a short, like weird, shitty video, but I just, I'm so excited about it. And I, I just want to, I just want to share it with the world. So if you guys have any like ideas or parts for it, not that it needs many parts, or if you've had one that looks like this, or if you have anything to tell me at all, please tell me in the comments or even like PM me because I've never seen anything like this. I'm way more excited about something like this, way more than like a dolphin or even a sun raider. That's right. I even said it, a sun raider. I'm about as, as excited about this two wheel drive little Toyota as I would be about a four wheel drive sun raider for about the same cost. And I'm not even joking. This thing is freaking sweet. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thank you and peace.